Today we're gonna to take a look at how to navigate the YouTube app using TalkBack. Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. So, I've got a lot of requests uh, recently and over the years to show how to navigate YouTube using screen readers, such as VoiceOver and TalkBack. A lot of people are having problems. They say they can't access the comments. They say they have no idea what I mean when I say there's a link in the description down below. They, they say they can't find that. Uh, so we're going to walk through all of that today, but we're going to be doing it on Android because that's what I have. If you're an iPhone user, check out my buddy Derek Daniels video where he shows how to navigate YouTube using voiceover. Now I am using a Samsung phone, so Samsung has both TalkBack and Voice Assistant. I'm going to be showing you guys on TalkBack though because that's what 100% of Android users will have. Not everybody's going to have Voice Assistant. Just know that if you do use Voice Assistant, you're going to get basically the same results, or pretty similar anyway. Now, before we jump into the app, I wanted to mention that today's video is proudly sponsored by Irie AT. They're a small family-owned company, and for nearly a decade now, they have been bringing assistive technology products to the U.S. It's no coincidence that the name they chose, Irie, in Jamaican means to be happy. That reflects the company they want to work at and what they want to bring to their customers. They have tons of awesome assistive technology products available. Everything from braille embossers to digital magnifiers, smartphones, and even software. I've personally used several of their products, so I definitely recommend going to their website and checking them out, irieat.com. Of course, there will be a link in the description down below. Now, with that being said, let's jump into the app. So I figured since Derek featured one of my videos, then I would feature one of his. So this is actually the video that he made about voiceover on the YouTube app. Uh, but we're going to start in the top left, of course, like we generally always do. And that is a minimize button. But if you double tap on it, it just sends you down to the description area or to the title area. So we're just going to swipe to the right. Add to button. Add to, this is where you can add it to a list, uh, watch later list or a favorites or something like that. Share button. You can share this video. Cast button, disconnected. Cast, now that means that if you have some kind of device that can, you can cast to like a Chromecast or a smart TV of some sort, you can do that and then view this video on a larger screen. More options button. Previous video button disabled. Previous video. Rewind button. Rewind. Play video button. So these are all the media control buttons for the video. Fast forward button. Next video button. Hide controls button. Hide controls, that's will hide all the media control buttons if you don't want them on the screen. Because when TalkBack is on, those controls stay on the screen throughout the entire video. They never go away. Uh, so if you're using TalkBack, but maybe you want to let somebody watch the video, you can hide those controls. Enter full screen button. Full screen. How to interact with a YouTube video using voiceover on the iPhone. Life after sight loss, 305 views. Life after sight loss, 1.5K subscribers. Okay, so a lot of information there. That was the title, how many views the video has had, uh, who the video was from, in this case, life after sight loss, Derek and then how many subscribers that person had. So you got a lot of information there all at once. More button. Still continuing to swipe to the right. So the more button, if we double tap that, it's going to expand the description and read all of that. Uh, so we'll come back to that. Like this video along with 37 other people. We can like the video. Dislike this video along with zero other people. We, we should never dislike the videos. Share. Share, once again, you could share. Of course, it gave these options also at the top, but you get them again here. Download button. You can download this. If you have uh, YouTube Red, it gives you the option to download videos and watch them later. Save. Save once again. Life after sight loss. There is a link to Derek's actual page. If we double tab that, it would take us to his page. Unsubscribe from life after sight loss. No, we don't want to unsubscribe. 
If I were not subscribed already, that is where it would say subscribe and you could double tap and you would subscribe to that channel. Current setting is all notifications. Tap to change your notification setting for life after sight loss. So that is the little bell icon that we always talk about in our videos. We say click the little bell icon right next to the subscribe button. That is what's going to allow you to receive notifications whenever we post our videos. So that is right next to the subscribe, which is right next to the channel name. Published on December 27th, 2018. My good buddy Sam from The Blind Life asked me to make a video about how to like, subscribe, comment, and all the other stuff you can do on YouTube. So I'm covering Gate iPhone and he is tackling the Android side of things. Uh oh, typo. If you have further questions, leave them by the comment. Okay, we're going to skip that for now. That's the description. We'll come back to that. So then we get into the, uh, you can turn on autoplay or not. Uh, autoplay switch. I've got it turned off. I autoplay drives me crazy. Conan furloughs non-essential staffer staffers. Uh, autoplay switch. Okay, so we're gonna go back. The next section is all the recommended videos that YouTube thinks you might like. So first, we want to get into that section, and then we can use the two finger swipe up to get uh, all the way through it without having to look at every single one. You can swipe through them all, but it's it's tedious. It's gonna take a long time. So let's get in there first. Conan Furlow's non-essential staffers menu button. Interview with there Eddie Van Halen. Is rock and roll all about reinvention? 55 minutes progress bar. Zocalo Public Square recommended for you. So we heard the little sound effect letting us know that we were in this menu. Now we want to do the two finger swipe up to get through the whole menu really quickly or the whole section really quickly. And it should, fingers crossed, it should stop when we get to the next section which is the comments. Out of place. There we go. So it stopped and we should be if we touch somewhere down towards the bottom. Apple under fire for allegation. No next link. Live accessible two weeks ago. Well, digital charms two weeks ago. Derek 05 of 1228 comments 12. There we go. Now we're in the comments. It takes a little searching. Um, it's not the easiest app to navigate with uh, a screen reader. And I think Derek illustrated that too on the iOS, on the iPhone as well with voiceover. It's, it's not the easiest app. They, they can do some improvements. But anyway, we're in the comments now. Add a public comment. Add a public comment. This is where I can uh, leave a comment if I want. I just double tap on that section and uh, the keyboard pops up and I can do that. If I continue down. Digital Charms two weeks ago. Derek and Sam, you are the best team ever. Thanks for sharing how to use helpful iOS voiceover tutorial. Without voiceover, I accidentally pressed dislike by mistake but then click it again to undo. I thought I was doing something wrong when features did not work such as the subscribe button. Now I know there are software limitations at this time. Thanks for teaching me how to use the swipe up after the title to get the subscribe option. Super cool, two likes. Yes, Derek and I are the coolest team. Thumbs up. <laughs> uh, so you can go through here. You can, um, we'll use this one as an example. And I loved what she said right there. There's software limitations. So if you're struggling with navigating one of these things, don't get down on yourself because chances are it's not something you're doing. It's something where it, incompatibility between the accessibility software and the app you're trying to navigate. So don't beat yourself up. That's the thing. <laughs> and practice. Practice, you get better. So if we uh, keep on swiping through, we should get some options within this. Digital charms button. Read more. Like button. So we can like this comment. Dislike button. We can dislike this comment. Reply button. You can reply to the comment. Action menu button. And there's an action menu. Live accessible two weeks ago. So one thing I will mention about the way the Android app is laid out is that when you want to leave a comment on a comment, or if you want to read like all the different replies to a certain comment, it actually opens up a new page. And what I mean by that, I'll show you. Digital charms two weeks ago. Derek and Sam, I'm going to double tap the on that. Ever. Thanks for sharing. Editing, add a public reply three period, edit box. So now we're looking at this full comment. I can add a reply if I want. So if I don't want to leave a comment, I have to back out of it. 
back button. Hit the back button. We need to back out again because that just got rid of our keyboard. So now we're looking at the comment. Close button. Digital charms two digital charms button. Digital charms two weeks ago. Derek and Sam. Like button. Dislike button. Reply button. So now this window is still popped up. If we want to go back to all the other comments, we have to hit the back button again. Back button. And that dropped down and now we're back in all the other comments. Now there was a tiny little sound effect. You guys might have heard it uh, letting you know that the window popped down, but there's no other indication. Uh, and once again, that's a limitation of the uh, compatibility here. They really should give you some audible messages letting you know that you're back in this section. But I mean, that's just my opinion anyway. So we can continue on down reading more comments, going through those same steps to read uh, comments, like comments, reply to comments, that sort of thing. I'm going to go back all the way back up until we hit the top. And so now I know I'm up back up by the title and the description and all that. How to interact with a YouTube video using voiceover on the iPhone. Life after site loss, 305 views. Life after site loss, 1.5K subscribers. So if I double tap on the title, we get the sharing options as far as creating a post, writing a post. So lots of different options there as far as creating a post. That's Back button. one of YouTube's newest How to features. With a YouTube video using voice more button. We're gonna click on the more button, which is just one swipe to the right from the title. So now if we click on the more button, it's going to expand the description box. Less button. And now if we swipe to the right and once we get past the sharing and liking and all that, we'll get to the description section. Like this video, one, share, download, save, life app, unsubscribe from life app, current setting is all notifications. Tap to change your notification setting for life after site loss. Published on December 27th, 2018. My good buddy Sam from The Blind Life asked me to make a video about how to like, subscribe, comment, and all the other stuff you can do on YouTube. So, I'm covering Gate iPhone and he is tackling the Android side of things. If you have further questions, leave them in the comments below. Enjoy. Links I mentioned in the video. Sam's video. Got questions? Have a thought? Feel free to share in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Underscore. Connect with ME on the web. Website. HTTP colon slash slash lifeaftersightloss.com. Facebook, HTTP colon slash. Okay, so I skipped a lot of that. It You see though that it read through it and it also read out the different website links and it gave a little audible uh, popping sound whenever it came to a link. So now we have some options in here using vertical swiping. So swiping up and down will cycle through different options. Characters, words, lines, paragraphs, headings, Links, controls, default. Okay, so characters, words, lines, headings, controls, links was one of them. So when it, whichever one you stop on, then when you swipe to the right or left, it's going to jump by that option. So if you want to go back and read something that you missed. Characters, words. We could go by words. 27, 2018, my good buddy, Sam from the blind. Like. Or we could do lines. Lines. Make a video about how to. Like, subscribe, comment. Paragraphs. We could do paragraphs. Headings. Headings. Links. Links. Let's try links. Okay, so it's moving it. We're getting a little audible cue that it's doing something, but it's not reading anything. So let's go to the first link. One swipe to the right. And I'm going to put it back on characters and see what it says. The web. Okay. Website HTTP. Lifeaftersightloss.com. So unfortunately, just like on iOS, there isn't really any easy way to click on links in the description. Uh, that's unfortunate for you guys. It's unfortunate for us, but at least you can do everything else. You can subscribe, you can click on notifications, you can comment, you can reply to comments, you can like, you can dislike. No, don't dislike, don't ever dislike. <laughs> and then you, of course you can watch the video. Just that one minor little issue in the description there. Okay, so 
there you go guys some frustration most of it works fine there's obviously some things that they need to work on and if you watch Derek's video it's it's kind of similar uh, the voiceover doesn't read everything like it should and it can be kind of frustrating now this is using the YouTube app you could also go through a mobile browser and go straight to YouTube the website and do it that way you have a little bit different functionality on the website versus the app talkback and voiceover also both read things a little differently but you can use the skills that you've learned in this video and Derek's video the swiping the up and down double tapping all of that to navigate through the website and find what you're looking for okay guys if you have any more questions for me please let me know in the comments down below if you like the video you want to help out the channel be sure to hit that like button also make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can stay up to date with the videos coming out in the future don't forget lots of low vision t-shirts in the Amazon shop that link will also be in the description down below thanks again Sam with the blind life we'll see you next time